guys, welcome to the Royal Black MUA, MUA channel, and I'm going to be showing y'all how to get a photo, a good picture photo makeup look. Yeah, I'm going to carry y'all to the modeling world. Like, uh, mm. I'm going to show y'all how to get the good modeling makeup look. It's going to be natural, guys. It's going to be natural. Everybody going to want to do this look. Because it's going to be some natural girl. It's going to be too natural for me, I know. But anyways, we got to represent the natural people out there. One thing I ain't never seen on YouTube, a black girl, like, doing, like, a black, a black girl getting their makeup done by a makeup artist. Like, a, model, a good model, modeling makeup black girl, girl. So... For my black girls out there that's doing the modeling, I'm going to show y'all how to do y'all makeup, girl. Let's get into it. Yeah, you done right. I'm going to make my own motherfucking intro, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Y'all out there wanting a little body glow, a little, little glow on the body. So, Fantasy Glow, it's like a, a body cream that you can apply. I just get a little bit with my finger. A little goes a long way. So, I'm going to get it with my finger, put it on the back of my hand. Hold on, I just dropped my face. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. I'm going to go through this little brush right here. And I'm going to start like... First, I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to start blending in. So, if you want a little glow to the skin, it was like a little shimmery. Not too shimmery um, of a... About a highlight. Anyway, my fantasy glow. See, I make my um, I make my makeup brand is based on. My makeup brand is based on models. Like, if you're a model, my eyeshadows, body glow, everything is based with on models. Like, look at that. See, this will change your whole life. See, it make the bones pop out. I even apply a little bit on the neck right there. Ooh, so look at that. I know I got on yellow, a yellow dress, but look at it. Now, if you want to get down to get down with it, so this gold highlighter, it ain't got a little name on it because. This is for my makeup kit. So I just apply right in that little body glow right there. Just apply a little bit. And I get the same brush. What, what that brush I had in there? I'm going to get the same brush right here. I'm going to go into that little body, the, uh, the highlight. This for face and body. So I just put a little bit right there. And I blend it in. See y'all. If y'all... See, if y'all want that model glow or something, there you go. And I do got a lot of rose gold. If you want to add some rose gold in there. My rose gold highlighter can go for black people, white people. So, with the rose gold, if you dark skin like I'm in, like for my, uh, my brown tone people, Lose a, a little bit of the, um, oh, look at that. Use just a little bit of the rose gold to give it a little extra glow. And be to be out, girl. Look at that. Ooh. I like apply this when I'm doing photo shoots. When I do my modeling photo shoot, I like applying this, um, this. This highlighter. Take some of the rose gold right here. Y'all see, it's like very, like, pink in the inside. Yeah. So I just gonna apply a little bit right there. Just a little touch right there. This is how it look, y'all. Just a little touch. And I'm going to get the same old brush. I'm just digging him a little bit. 
Then I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post it right there. On it right there. Oh, girl, look how shimmery I am now. And you can wear this to the gym or anywhere, girl. I wear it to the gym because when I walk in the gym, I be shimmery. So look at it. This, you can wear this for a photo shoot. See, we like, like this and turn. Look at that. See, I told you I make stuff. I'm My brain is based on dark skin, dark skin people, even like white people. I don't know I keep saying white people, Caucasian. That's how I'm going to use Caucasian people. That's how I'm going to use it. I keep saying white people. People get offended by this. So I'm going to start saying Caucasian. So let's just start on face. Face. I'm going to use the uh, the drugstore Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And I'm, I'm in shade 375. And I'm just going to like do a little bit on my contour palette right now. Just a little bit like that. Maybe a bow. And I'm going to go in with this little foundation brush. And I just want to... You're supposed to wear like too much to a like a modeling photo shoot. That's according to what they want. You're supposed to wear like too much, too much foundation. So I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna lightly apply it, going in circles. So I just go in circles with it, right there, and I go a little bit down the neck. Make sure you get your neck caught in the pictures. You don't want your your face to be a different color than your neck. They're gonna the pictures gonna look all and they ain't gonna look good. That is not gonna look good. So I just do the same thing on both sides. For me, I want a little light to come to the face. So I use the the Maybelline, the same Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in shade 365. And I take that, and I like that was something under the eyes. And I kind of blend it in with my finger. And I take, so I like dab it under the eyes and kind of spread it out with my fingers like that. And on the forehead, and I snatch that nose like that because when I do my real my real makeup, I ain't got no care in the world. I just start blending blah, 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 going in. Then after I blend it out with my finger, just a little bit, I go in with this brush, and I just lightly, lightly blend it in. So it won't look as, you know, see, look, just add a little light to the face, and I go in the eyelid, you know. We is going to do a lot, a little bit of eyeshadow, you got, y'all, we is going to do a little bit of eyeshadow, so... I know I'm going in great detail, but anyways, I got to, if you want to learn, I'm going in great detail with my, with the modeling and stuff. So I just going to, I just going to finish blending this in. So, I can just, I put foundation on my eyes, I can let it sit for a while and wait till it dry. So, what we is going to do and get started on eyes, that we is going to do. Let me get my stuff ready, girl. I should have did all this for, uh, before I got started, but, you know, I ready to get some content out there, so. Ooh. I can't believe black got on, anyways. So, y'all, listen. Y'all don't want too much eye shelly. Y'all want it. 
in there. So I'm not gonna set this this because anyway, I'm using the black radiant uh loose setting powder. I need to go ahead and do it because I'm doing eyeshadow and I need stuff not to fall in there, girl. So I just gonna use this beauty blender and I'm just gonna go into that powder. And I'm just gonna like, go under there like that. And hmm. I'm gonna put some mud into the skin and some of ain't. So I'm just gonna like, bake under my eyes like that. Y'all sure I just put some mud in and I put in, yeah. Yeah. So let's get started on our shadow. Ooh. So I'm going go in with the uh you see I ain't put white on my eyelid because we just gonna do a wash of color. So I'm going go with the my birthday palette. Y'all see I've been using it. And I'm going with this um this burnt red color right there. And y'all know, wash your color. Y'all don't want too much eyeshadow. The, because if you modeling the clothes, if you modeling the clothes, you don't want people to go straight to the eyeshadow. So that's what we're doing right now. We're doing when you model the clothes. We're doing the eyeshadow when you model the clothes. Mm -hmm. I'll show y'all how to do like the face makeup when y'all doing face modeling. Right now, let's think of yourself. Oh, I'm modeling the clothes. So, just wash the wash color like that. I ain't put no concealer on my eyes. No white base concealer. Because, um, it, a white base concealer do make the, um, the eyeshadows pop. But, when you modeling clothes, you don't want it to pop, like, out, out. Because all people gonna go to is the your makeup. They're gonna say, Oh, the makeup look perfect. They are no, they gonna be stuck in the clothes on, they're gonna be looking at some makeup. So you don't want that. You want them to look at clothes that's too modern. So all I gonna do is put a little black in there. Out the black out my palette, I'm just gonna go on with this little brush and just Blend a little black up in there, like that. Yeah. I'm just blending it softly because I don't want it. I don't want it to look too like that. Ooh, it looks dark on it looks dark as hell on camera. But anyway, that's how pigment my black is. As a clothing fashion model, you don't want like too much shimmer. You want just a little hit of shimmer, girl. Just hit and go. So, anyways, I'm gonna jump into. Ooh, so. Listen, I'm gonna jump into this shade right there. This shady shimmer right here. I know it's like a little bit dark, but you don't want like pow pow at the camera while you're trying to model clothes. So we just gonna like do a little dab and a little dip like that. Yeah, just like that. Very natural looking. It might look like you got a cut crease or whatever, but at least you see how they ain't flashing at the camera. <laughs> but anyways, look, it ain't flashing at the camera like bye bye. It just like give you a little, yeah. I know people like to go for the like, woo, Germanic eye and all that girl. That is not worth it in the modeling world because they will. They will look at your makeup and like, 
Mm, that ain't gonna turn out well on camera. They will do that. So, don't have your makeup out there, out there. Uh huh. Y'all want glitter from way to New York to heaven, bitch. You don't want your makeup all the way, all the way from New York to heaven. But, anyways, you don't want that. So, I'm gonna get a little black eyeshadow. And I'm gonna run that under my eye, close to my last line right there. And I'm not gonna go all the way, I'm just gonna go halfway. Just halfway. That's perfect, bitch. So, let me go wipe off this, and I'll come out and show y'all how to do the contour. I'm going to come into my contour palette right turn. This is the deep to deeper. So, this is what it looked like in the inside. Right there. Y'all see I've been using it. So, I'm going to go into this deeper shade right there, this little brush. Go into that deeper shade. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about that pitting in there like that. Y'all see how that changed the face structure already? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna do one thing and just um, like that. Now y'all see the difference. Look at this side. And look at this side. Contour and not. So we're just gonna go ahead and do the other side. What I do, I like get this fluffy brush and just like dip it in like that and just go on them. And I do the same thing. I just go straight down my nose just like that. And it's definitely like that. Now, if I want a deeper, let me show y'all how I do the like the deeper deep the, the deep um part. <laughs> let me stop. So black radiant, I go into the black radiant palette, and I go into this deeper shade right there. Let me show y'all how to replace that. I just coat the brush, bitch. Coat that brush. So, and do like that. So, I take this deeper shade, and I'll come right here, and I'll come free flip right there. So, I don't go all the way. See, when you contour right there and stop, <clears throat> y'all, yeah. So, I'm getting y'all all my ideas right now. And I take this brush, Right like, here, hmm. and I just with netting on it, I just go through and like, mm -hmm. blend it all together. If you look at this side, and look at this side, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep, 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 yep. So I'm going to have to do the other thing for blush. I'm going into the Chi Chi Rose palette. This is not a blush palette, this is the an eyeshadow palette. My new, this is one of my new collections on the uh, Chi Chi Rose palette. She is, uh, I'm gonna take this red right here, right there. It's like a, a pinkish red. I'm just gonna like lightly tap it in there. Make sure the brush like this. Tap some off. And I'm just gonna smile. And like dab some of that on there like that. Make sure you go through, that's on definitely go through and like blend it out. Look, it makes it look more snatch. Mm -hmm. I'm 
running from Carl Canelo and Carl Nate. Mm-hmm. Y'all, look. Lips. So you might remember modern and clothes. Modern and clothes. So you don't want your lips like <laughs> pop out like you like that. So I'm going with the um with the Jugger Queen lipstick. Not just gonna like uh that's definitely she like a, a like a new brown. Very natural. Uh, yeah, I made it for models and black people. What? See, white people can do it too. Light skin, white people. I don't care. I I make makeup for all people, not just black people. I make makeup for all people. So I'm just gonna take a little lip gloss. I'm gonna put it on my on my finger. Because I don't want, like, um, I don't want it, like, pop out. Look at that, y'all. This is not lashes. So, I want a little smart. When I'm modeling, I don't want my lashes. So, I'm going to wear these lashes right here. The um, they already been worrying. What they are? <laughs> they already been used it, but we gonna I reuse my lashes, y'all. Don't don't judge me. I don't think I got any more glue in this thingy. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Uh, for y'all lashes, but make sure you have enough glue. Uh -huh. But anyways, make sure your lashes is close to your uh your lash line as possible because the camera will pick up anything. Yeah. That's why you gotta make sure your foundation laid right, your eyeshadow, your lipstick, cause listen, all the business inspirations that my eyelash be up there, bitch. <laughs> but anyway, make sure your eyelashes is close to your lash line as possible. This is the whole finished look all completed. So, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And you can support me by that heart down there. You can see any amount that you want. It will help this channel out real good, girl. So, alright guys. I will see y'all I will see y'all Friday with a story time.